Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on my tutorial series on vector calculus for electromagnetism. This is video number 23 and I'm going to discuss quotient rule number 2. I'd like to draw your attention to my website universityphysicstores.com. The previous video to this is number 22 where I discussed quotient rule number 1. So in this video we're going to take the divergence of a vector field. The vector field is the vector A divided by the scalar G. So that's pretty straightforward because we can write down the vector A divided by the scalar G as A sub X divided by G in the I hat direction, A sub Y divided by G in the J hat direction, and A sub Z divided by G in the K hat direction. So to take the divergence of this, we need to operate del del X, del del Y, and del del Z in each of the I hat, J hat, and K hat directions. So in the I hat direction, I'm going to get del del X, A sub X over G, for example, or del del Y, A sub Y over G in the J hat, and so on. Notice, of course, that we're taking the derivative of a quotient, which means we must apply the quotient rules for, uh, for derivatives. So if we apply the quotient rule for derivatives, we get the following. So we're going to have, let's say, in the i-hat direction, let's just look at that one first. Um, look at that one first. It's obviously going to give us two terms. We're going to have g del a sub x del, a, del x in the i-hat minus a sub x del g del x in the i-hat direction. That's going to be divided by g squared but every term is also divided by g squared, so I'm just going to simply um, factorize it out that way. Okay, so we have two terms for the j and two terms for the k hat direction. Now, the thing here, and this I suppose, is, is, this comes from your work with the product rules, is how to spot the symmetry here. If we know that we've pre-multiplied by g in three, three locations, and each of these th three locations corresponds to a different unit vector direction, and if we look in between that, we, we see we have del A del X, well, del A sub X del X, del A sub Y del Y, and del A sub Z del Z. That looks to me like the divergence of A. So in actual fact, if we apply our knowledge of the divergence, we actually have G times the divergence of A. And we're left with three remainder terms. Okay, and it's of course all divided by G squared. Now if we look at this, we seem to have A sub X in the I hat direction, pre-multiplied by a sub y in the j hat direction and pre-multiplied by a sub z in the k hat direction. But if you look in the middle we have del g del x, del g del y, del g del z. g is equal to a scalar so what it seems that we have is in actual fact that we have the gradient of our scalar here. So it seems that we have a multiplied by the gradient of our scalar in, uh, in terms of the, in the dot product. So putting it all together what we have is that the divergence of the vector field, the vector a divided by g is g times the divergence of a minus a times uh, a, a excuse me dot producted with the uh, with the gradient of g all divided by g squared. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel and visit universityphysicstorials.com.